So Mendeley is a it's part social media, it's post part social network of, of researchers. I think there's in excess of three million researchers globally now. It's part kind of linked in with the groups and the conversations. It's part massive database that's being organically curated by, by the users of, of academic references. And it's part reference manager database. And it's free. Well, there's, there's paid for versions, but the free version is excellent for any any researcher out there. And the great thing about it is, is that it's it kind of introduces you to to resources and to discussions and papers that you don't necessarily pick up in conventional database searches. So we have a lot of international students in my department, and quite often they they they're wanting to research topics revolving around what may be conditions in their own country, especially in Africa and sub-Saharan uh, Africa. So quite often they'll search the traditional Western databases may struggle to find papers and then they'll maybe go and search Google Scholar or try and find some great literature. Mendeley is bringing in data and, and uh, papers from, from all over the place and it's also an alternative metric. So the more people save a paper, potentially the more useful it is. Not always the case, it may just be a very, very bad piece of research, but it helps identify other, other kind of research that's out there and it's got its own kind of hot topics kind of trend. and. Mendeley are very keen about the analytics of, of these things, so they're very keen about how long someone has a paper open, how long they read it, what they do with it. So it helps perhaps researchers identify other areas of, of research, new kind of new, new themes, etc. that they may not have spotted. But it, the great thing is it is this social network and it's a great way for researchers to put their publications up. You know, it's another repository. Quite often organizations build these repositories and they sit there and they think everyone's going to rush to it but they don't tell anyone because they're not using social media and they're not using communication tools. This this puts this where the community is active so it's, it is a fantastic tool. I've, I've taught it to hundreds and hundreds of PhD and, and master students. We've never had a problem. They, they, they love it. It's, yeah. it's, kind of, it's kind of what Google Docs was to Microsoft Word. This is kind of reference management to what Reference manager and EndNote was really. It's yeah. it's it's brought it into the twenty first century.